have you ever wanted to know the differences between email marketing and search marketing or how they both fit into your sales funnel if so then this video is going to be perfect for you because in this video we'll be talking about the differences between search engine marketing and email marketing and how they both fit into your sales funnel so first my name is tiffany domina and my website is howtoentrepreneur.org and my mission there is to help you grow a business from idea to full-time income and from full-time income to enterprise so if you haven't yet stopped by howtoentrepreneur.org definitely stop by and check out all the resources there so if you are uh, starting a business online or you're trying to grow an existing business using the internet then it's likely you'll hear terms like SEO or search engine optimization you'll hear about social media marketing you might be hearing about email marketing and you might be confused because it's a lot to take in and then it's hard to decide where does each one fit into your marketing plan so in this video we'll be talking about email marketing and search engine marketing so that you can see how they both fit into your marketing plan so um, first I want to talk to you about the online sales funnel and the online sales funnel is something that you should really understand so that you know how people are interacting online so first it's important to understand that process so for a second I want you to imagine that you are looking to learn something new you're looking to learn how to peel a banana and I know that is a funny example but it's simple so I wanted to use a simple example so you're looking to learn how to peel a banana and you know how to peel the banana with the stem up but you don't know any alternative ways to peel the banana. So where is the first place that you go? Just think about it for a second. Where is the first place that you would go? So for most people, the first place they would go is to a search engine. They would go to Google. They might go to Bing. They might go to Pinterest even. Um, they might go to YouTube. And those are just a few places that they might go if they're looking to learn how to peel a banana or if they're looking for any other new skill so the stats show that 75 percent of people would go to google and um <clears throat> so next after they have um after they have used the search engine they will likely um, see a listing and they'll look at the different titles they'll look at the descriptions in the listing and you can probably relate to this this is something you've probably done before and it might not be about peeling a banana but maybe it's about how to use your lawnmower or how to cook a new meal for dinner or something else but you go to the search engine the search engine will show you all of these listings and you read to see which one is most relevant which one sounds like it's definitely going to help you accomplish your goal and then you pick the result once you pick that result you end up landing on a website and you look through the website to see is it really going to help you you might scroll fast one time and then go back and uh, get deep into the meat and so you engage with the information um, so you might read the information you might watch or listen to the podcast whatever they have there that helps you learn how to peel this banana and um, if the information answers all your questions then you might go and take action but if it doesn't answer all your questions then you might try to find more deeper information and so this is commonly what happens and if they have something that says 75 ways to peel a banana and you can exchange your email address for that additional more deep information then you likely exchange your email address because it sounds like there's a relevant um, there was a relevant search you had a relevant intent and then they have a relevant opt-in so that's usually how it works so um, going back to the sales funnel you can see how search marketing and email marketing can fit into the picture search marketing um, usually 
attracts new people. It attracts um, people who may not know you because they're looking for a certain they're looking for certain information and they don't really care where it comes from as long as the person can answer the question and um, they give them good, valuable information. So search um, marketing can help to attract people who don't know you. But if they get their answer and they uh, have no loyalty specifically to you, then they're cold traffic and you likely won't get a sale from them. But if they if they want more information and they want to get that information from you because you've provided good value and you have something additional there to offer them, like um, you can exchange an email, um, you might have a course on whatever it is, um, you might have a product or service that helps solve their problem, whatever it is, um, then they can exchange their email and email marketing can build the trust and explain to them the benefits and the features and really make the relationship go deeper. So the pros of search marketing is that you can attract a lot of new people. Um, you can engage with new people in a, in a way that, um, that you wouldn't normally do with other methods of marketing. Um, it, it also, um, can help you to get to know people who are qualified, who are interested in something that, that you have or that you know. And, um, but some of the cons of search marketing are that, um, it can be competitive. Um, people don't usually trust you the first time when they meet you. So you're attracting a lot of people who don't necessarily trust you and don't necessarily have a loyalty specifically to you. And, also, search users may require a lot of nurturing before they make a purchase. So that could be if um, if you have a higher ticket product or service, then it usually will require more nurturing. If it's a lower ticket product or service, then it doesn't typically require as much. But email marketing, in contrast, um, if we were to compare it to offline marketing, then it's like the person knocks on your door and you like what they're talking about. You like the product that they presented to you, but you're not ready to make a purchase decision right now. So you ask them, can you follow up with me? Can you maybe um, um, let me think on it a little bit? And the follow up is what part the email plays into the sales funnel. So um, if the person comes to your website and they're kind of interested in what you're doing, but they're not quite ready to take action the same day or the same time, then that's where email marketing can come in. So if you have a website and you talk about things that are a little bit more deep, might require more training, more education, more trust building, then email marketing might be a good solution to help increase your sales conversion rates. So um, there's lots of situations where a person wouldn't be ready to make a buying decision right at that point. Maybe they, they would like to make the buying decision closer to their payday or they want to save up some money or they have a situation that's going on. So many reasons. But um, with email marketing, you can follow up. You can continue to build the relationship, continue to give value and stay top of mind. So if you haven't checked out the video that I um, published about why email marketing is important, definitely check that video out because I talk about how the reasons why you would want to want to um, possibly do email marketing. So the pros of email marketing are that it helps you to improve sales because it, it, um, it helps to address more objections that you might have through the sale process. Um, it helps to build trust and to engage potential customers more. Um, in contrast to search marketing, you are attracting a lot of cold traffic and unless, um, unless they, unless you're ranking for a lot of terms that are, um, consistent with the journey that they're on, then it's likely you might give them the answer and then not see them again. Um, but if you have email and you have more information that you can give that's relevant and you can follow up more 
through email and possibly make a, a, a purchase or a sale. Um, number three, another good thing about email marketing is that it can be automated. So I can write an email today and schedule it to go out on a different day. And um, I can write a lot of emails up front so that they can go out over the course of time. I can test the emails that I sent out to see which ones convert, which ones don't, and possibly why, and continue to tweak and improve the email so that I get better results. So there's a lot of power and things that you can do with email. Now, some of the cons are that it doesn't attract much cold traffic or new relationships. So if you don't have traffic coming to your website or online or coming to your um, business, then email marketing doesn't necessarily bring you new customers. Um, it's more of a way to engage with customers who've already shown interest. Um, it can also be competitive considering how much email is used nowadays. So um, a lot of people are on various email lists. So you might be um, hitting their email box when they have messages from Walmart and so they might have messages from Target, from Walmart, from Home Depot, and various different stores. And then your message goes in there with everything else. They might have bills. They might have coworkers and employers calling them or um, customers who are messaging. So you have to keep that in mind when you're sending out your emails that it's not just empty and you're not the only message that's going out there. You have to do something to really grab attention. So now overall email marketing and search marketing are really valuable tools that you can use to attract attention to your business and also to engage um, customers and potential customers so that you can increase your sales. Now they play a different part in the sales funnel and hopefully um, discussing this with you on this video helps you to see how they both fit together. But overall, they're both two powerful tools that you can use and to add into your marketing plan. And so if you're interested in learning more about email marketing or learning more about digital marketing as a whole, I would love to uh, coach you and I'd invite you to join me at Wealthy Affiliate. I'll leave a link in the description box below for information on that. And also I have free e-courses that you can check out at How to Entrepreneur that teach you about um, digital marketing, affiliate marketing, and other things. So definitely stop by How to Entrepreneur and check out those free resources. Also, um, if you're interested in st getting started with email marketing, there's two companies that I recommend as um, my favorites to recommend, and one of them is ConvertKit. Um, ConvertKit is an email service I've been using for the last two years, more than two years actually, and um, they have a lot of great support. They have great landing pages, great opt-ins, lots of training and challenges and live um uh, webinars that they do to help you to launch your email list and to grow it. And so it was really helpful for me to grow my email list. And a lot of people are seeing very a lot of success at ConvertKit. Um, so if you're interested in checking out ConvertKit, they have a free membership now. And you can you can try, you can set it up by going to howtoentrepreneur.org slash convertkit. Again, howtoentrepreneur.org slash convertkit. Also, Podia is another alternative. If you're interested in creating online courses and being able to integrate with payment processors and setting up a membership site or and having the email marketing integrate with that all, um, you can check out Podia. They have a free trial and you can go to howtoentrepreneur.org slash Podia to give that a try. And lastly, um, you can check out GetResponse. Um, it's a company that a lot of people I've worked with really enjoy and um, they offer landing pages, they offer opt-ins, they offer email support, um, and sometimes it's just a matter of which company is easiest for you to use. 
and I've seen a lot of people who find Get Response easy to use. So that's why I'm recommending it for you. But you can check out Get Response. They have a free trial and you can check it out by going to howtoentrepreneur.org slash get response. So I kind of gave you four options. Um, if you are learning email marketing or learning digital marketing as a whole and you want to learn that, then I'm recommending Wealthy Affiliate. If you are wanting to get started with email marketing and you need the software to co collect your contacts, to build your landing pages, um, to send out your sequences and send out your broadcast to your um, list, then I'm recommending ConvertKit or Get Response. But if you want to have email and create courses and digital products, then I'm recommending Podia. So hopefully um, this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this where I do product and service reviews as well as growth strategies to help you grow a business from idea to full-time income and from full-time income to enterprise, then definitely subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon so you can be notified of upcoming videos. Um, I hope that um, this video gave you clarification on the differences between email marketing and search marketing and also that it help you to decide where you are in your journey and which one you should be using so um, if you have any questions about this you can definitely leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you and that's all I have for this video have a great day bye